everyone at New York Hilton Racket Club. And especially my angel, who I'm going to bring up right now, who has been my main supporter and uh, really an inspiration all around. Uh, let's put our hands together for my boss and my friend, Kim Manicherian. Go-tos for uh, getting through getting through anything, uh, and it had to do with domestic violence. Um, that kind of was kismet, you know. Um, domestic violence is very personal to me. Um, during the years that I was CEO of New York Health and Racket Club, um, I was going through a um, an abusive relationship, and uh, for three years I was being drugged and raped. And um, I, I lived in the shadow of, of secrecy, and I was listening to others while they believed I was li living a perfect life. I was going home to shame and loneliness. And um, this is an issue that crosses every strata. Um, anyone can be impacted. Nobody chooses domestic violence. Uh, victims are drawn in by a Prince Charming uh, before they're isolated and then abused and then loved and abused again. Uh, the irony is that in stripping you of your support and mindfulness, you, in the end you find that you're a pretty resilient person. I, I started as a powerful woman, but I lost myself. I'm not sorry this happened to me. I'm sorry that my kids had to experience this monster. And I'm sorry my parents were powerless to stop me when they could see so clearly what was going on. Uh, but I'm glad it happened to me because I found a meaning and purpose in life beyond myself. Through New York Hilton Racket Club, we can engage in community and provide opportunities for those looking to participate. People need a sense of community, and we're there for them. Let's help people build resiliency. I was once a powerful woman, then I was a victim, I became a survivor, and now I'm a mother.